As time goes by, you might notice your computer getting slower. This is a natural thing that happens especially under heavy use. More and more files are created on your device, your system receives updates, and your hardware might become less powerful to handle it all. In this video, we'll explore how can you speed up Windows 10 even without having to upgrade your setup. Our tips focus on how you can increase the operating speed of your system without having to sacrifice features, visual appearance, and services. We've also kept the methods below accessible and easy to perform. However, for even better results, check out the description below. We've linked some products in our store for you. The longer you leave your computer on, the slower it might become. With your hardware constantly running, your system may slow down due to temporary files being created or various components simply overheating. Although by default, Windows 10 will put your display to sleep, many users leave their computer on for days or even weeks. During this time, applications continue running in the background, accommodating memory over time and causing serious slowdowns. To avoid this from happening, the next time you use your device, make sure to turn it off when you're done. You can do this by clicking on the Start menu in the taskbar, then clicking on the Power button. Here, select Shut Down. After a few minutes, turn your computer back on using its Power button. It's extremely important to keep your operating system up to date. New updates bring not only new features but better optimization and often even security patches. You can update Windows 10 from the Settings application. Every time your system boots up, various applications launch at startup. This is a feature used by many apps that you might want to have ready from the moment you gain access to your computer, such as antivirus software. However, many apps are not necessary for your device to load upon startup. Some apps, especially freeware, often make modifications to your system and set unnecessary startup apps. This doesn't only slow down your boot time, but may cause serious performance drops as these applications continue running in the background. Here's how you can disable unwanted startup apps to improve the speed of your Windows 10 operating system. Right-click on any empty space in your taskbar. This will open up a context menu. Here, click on Task Manager. If your Task Manager launched in the compact view, Click on the More Details option seen in the bottom left of the window. This will expand the window and show you the necessary tabs to access the Startup's application. Switch to the Startup tab using the menu at the top of the Task Manager window. Here, you can see all the applications that start along with your computer at launch. Make sure that the application you're trying to disable doesn't have Microsoft's corporation stated in the Publisher column. This application usually don't impact your system's performance and might be required for Windows 10 to run as intended. Select an application you want to disable. Then click on the Disable button in the bottom right of the window. Its status should change to Disabled. Repeat this process for every app you don't need at startup, then restart your computer. Now your computer should launch up without any impact-heavy or unnecessary apps automatically launching. This gives you the ability to test if your boot time and the performance of your device as well. Windows 10 comes with a built-in tool to help you clean your computer's files, called the Disk Cleanup tool. It's easy to run and may free up a plethora of space on your device by deleting files you never even knew you had and certainly you don't need. Doing so will create more valuable space on your computer and improve performance. Here's how to run the disk cleanup on a Windows 10 device. Use the search field in your taskbar. 
or press the Windows and 5 keys on your keyboard to open up the search feature. Type in Disk Cleanup and launch the tool from the matching search result. If prompted, select the drive you want to clear. We recommend you start with the drive Windows 10 is installed on, then repeat these steps for any or all other drives. Allow some time for a utility to analyze your device, then select what you want to delete from the system. You can also see how much space you will free up on your drive after completing the action. Click the OK button to proceed and permanently delete the files you've selected. A reboot is recommended after the process has finished running. There might be some applications on your computer that you no longer need or didn't even know were existing. This can happen because of various reasons. Some vendors ship their machines with the pre-installed software which is often referred to as bloatware. Free applications also called freeware apps are capable of successfully installing hidden apps on your computer. Many computer users also install apps for a specific purpose only to never use it again. The best thing you can do is head to settings and uninstall applications you no longer need or you can go to control panel to uninstall some applications you don't need. If you have any question, you want some answers, let us know by leaving a comment. And if you thought this video was helpful, please click on the like button and consider subscribing. If you don't, we'd love to know why. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you on the next video.